Welcome to the Adas Trading and Analytical Platform channel. The most frequently used module in the platform is the chart. The main functions for working with it are concentrated in the upper left menu, and in this video, we will provide an overview of this menu so that a beginner user can learn how to work with the chart in the Adas platform in less than 10 minutes. Okay, the platform is launched, and you have the main program window in front of you. To open the chart module, click the chart button. The instrument manager opens. It is now asking you which instruments chart you want to open. You have two options. You can select the instrument saved in the frequently used tab. Or you can access the list of all available instruments and use the search function. To add the found instrument to the frequently used tab, click the star icon. OK, the chart is open. Here is the upper left menu which we will quickly cover now. The first on the list is the instrument manager, which we've mentioned before. If, for instance, you've been analyzing the gold market and need to switch to the Bitcoin market without opening a new chart, you can easily change instruments through the manager. We've already explained how to use the manager and its two tabs. The second on the list is the time frame menu. By default, it's set to 5 minutes, but you can customize it to hourly, daily, or even 30 seconds. And if the default time frames aren't enough for you, you can click the add button to create a custom time frame, for example, a 20 minute interval. To do this, hit add, specify your preferred settings, and then click apply. Your new 20 minute time frame will be added to the menu. You can also choose non-standard chart types. Usually, one candle corresponds to the same time interval. However, in Adas, you can choose to have each candle correspond to the same volume, delta, or ticks. There are also different types of range charts, Renko, Reversal, and others. For each chart type, you can create your unique frame or period. Two more important settings are the number of loaded days and the end date. By default, Auto is selected to optimize resources depending on the chosen period. But if you need to load, for example, the last week of 2022, you can enter the end date as December 31, 2022, and set the number of days to 7. The third on the list is the volume menu. Here, you can assign a specific order volume to each key on your keyboard. This feature is handy and saves time, especially if you trade frequently and place orders of different sizes. For the cryptocurrency market, you can specify the order volume in both dollars and cryptocurrencies. For example, assign key 1 to an order volume of 1 Litecoin, key 2 to order volume of 2 Litecoins. The fourth menu item is the chart type. You can choose from bars, candles, transparent candles, line chart, cluster chart, also known as a footprint, filled area, you can also hide the chart, which may come in handy, although it's not commonly used. Please note that you can switch between chart types with simple key combinations. Shift plus C for candles, Shift plus K for clusters. The fifth menu item is the drawing objects. This extensive section takes up the entire vertical screen space, where you can select various lines. Fibonacci elements. There is a ruler, which can be used to assess potential profits and their risk ratios, calculate volumes, and perform other measurements. Also, there's an arbitrary profile. Press F3 and create a profile for any part of the chart. In the Drawing Objects menu, you'll also find Options for snapping drawing objects to candles. An option to switch the drawing objects panel on off on the left side of the chart. The sixth menu item is the Zoom Tool. This feature allows you to examine a specific area of the candlestick chart using clusters. To do this, simply press M and hover your mouse over the area you want to magnify. To exit this mode, press M again. The seventh menu item is the Indicator Manager. On the left side, you see a list of available indicators. You also see the indicators that have been added to your chart. By default, this includes the depth of market. On the right side of the manager, you can find settings for the selected indicator. For example, if you want to add the delta indicator, find and select it on the left side. Then click Add, afterward, click OK. If you need to adjust the settings, do so in the right side panel as needed and remember to click OK. The eighth menu item is the mouse cursor. 
it can be a regular arrow cursor, a crosshair, or a global crosshair, which can be useful for navigating multiple charts. The ninth menu item is the templates. Here, you'll find templates and snapshots. These are pre-made and saved configurations for your chart. Both templates and snapshots save you time and spare you from the hassle of setting up your chart from scratch every time. What's the difference? A template includes all the color settings for the chart and the indicators. A snapshot is more comprehensive. It includes all the color settings for the chart, indicators, as well as all graphical objects placed on the chart, chart type, and time frame. The final item is the template manager, which enables you to work with templates and snapshots, including tasks like adding, deleting, exporting to your hard drive, or importing from there. That's how we quickly covered the left upper menu of the chart module. Now, give it a try yourself. Download the platform, it's free. Like, subscribe, and comment, and thanks for watching.